The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate and welcome back to Timberborn with me JD. So today's episode, today's episode, today's episode we're going to be doing a few things. Uh, first thing I'd really like to do before we get into the beavers and the timber, actually first thing we need to talk about is we need to talk about Toothy Dam. Toothy Dam, because I'm um, both toothy and submissive beaver lost their lives uh, in the creation of this this lock. Actually, it's a lock. It's not a dam, it's a lock. Yes, we're going to call this a lock. Um, we need to get the second level, level of tiles up and running like yesterday. So uh, I have upped the priority on all of these because we have the annoying clock already counting down. We're going to have a drought in 2.9 days. I need to store more water. That's for sure. Uh, same time, I need a path. There to there. Okay, so we are trying to get the beavers. Uh, let's up the priority on those. Uh, we need to get the beavers come up here, build these ones along with build these ones around the up, other side. We have raised the gates up to one and a half tiles, which, um, yeah, means we have a little bit of water flowing out, but not a lot of water flowing out. And it's coming over and it's coming over here where we've put in a lot of pumps. We have got one large water tank built and I've got a second one planned out, which we're going to max the priority on because obviously we want that built as fast as possible. Other things that I have done is I have uh, put in some berry pickers which have no berries to pick, so we're definitely going to pause them, and that way they can find other jobs to do. Uh, you can't plant any trees. You can be paused. You can be paused. Uh, we are also uh, removing that llama mill, because that's useless, along with remove that drive train. In here, I want to put in a forester, and... Nope, not a lumberjack. A gatherer flag right there. Hook that in there after these carrots are harvested, which should be fairly soon. Hopefully we get a path built down here so during this uh, drought that's coming up, we can get in here and plant in more berries. More berries. We're gonna it's hard mode. We need to min-max everything we possibly can. Uh, speaking of berries and other things, uh, can I also get one of those with gather a flag there? And a forester there, which we're going to downgrade the priority on, and then we're going to set you to plant berries, well, everywhere possible. At least that's our hope. Uh, I really like it. Well, you can definitely plant up here. I'd really like it if I could get you down here, but I can't see that hat. But, eh, I could maybe build two stairs there and get access to these tiles. Oh, whatever, whatever. Just as easily, I could build two platforms there, and I'd lose one, two tiles compared to... Yeah, it's two tiles all the way. Alright. So, uh... Oh, I'll also pause the housing, because we're sort of maxing out our population. Um, we have 98. Yeah, I think all the, all the houses are full. Yep, I'm going to go with it all full. Okay, but even though they're full, because I've paused all these ones, I want to get rid of... Actually, I want to get rid of these ones outright. Uh, we have a couple of problems. Um, one, we definitely need more pumping stations, because as you guys have properly pointed out to me, uh, we... Are you harvesting? Oh, no, you were building stairs. Never mind. Um, we... We have a couple of problems. Okay, a couple of problems. We're not probably not pumping enough water. Not as the droughts keep getting longer and harsher. Uh, you know what? 2.5 days. We're going to set that to 2. And keep an eye on this. Uh, priority. Up the priority on that chest. Uh, on, on that levy, rather. Uh, we have timber, so that's not the issue. Okay. Uh, we, we, we Water, we're borderline. Okay? We, we, we can't be doing good. We've got 500 water stored. Which, on 100 beavers, drinking 3 water per day means we've got like a day and a half worth of storage. That's not good. On top of that, food, same sort of situation, possibly worse. So realistically, I need to get more food planted. A lot more food planted. Uh, I also, one thing I'd really like to do is we need to look at this prior to having a drought. Is I'd really like to set up a second district. Now, in a perfect world, okay, and this is probably going to be our end goal is I'd like to get a district here, 
okay this district here would just produce everything produce logs produce planks well yeah logs planks gears dynamite the whole works just just everything is produced at this district have a district over here which just produces a lot of food because they have lots of riverbeds at the same time this lovely district over here that produces a lot of food also produces um labor labor uh beaver labor that is uh we want to set up a, the same as we did in the previous series a district nine just a whole bunch of beavers that can run a whole bunch of wheels to make sure this district never runs without power set up a district over here that just is nothing but wood a district over here nothing but wood and a district over here that's nothing but wood so this central district has three districts worth of timber it can chop down at all times uh and plus unlimited power that's the prime end goal but that means i need to look at uh down the river and see what our options are, which I think we're going to wait till morning because it got really dark really quickly. Um, and yes, I am forcing the beavers to continue working a 20 hour workday. 20 hour workday is perfectly fine in some parts of the world, and it is perfectly fine when you want beavers to actually survive. Another thing I probably should look at is if we get paper, we could get a beehive. You are doing nothing. Buy Dirty Beaver and buy South American Beaver. If I continue to path along here, uh, we need to click on the district center so I can see how far... It's in the red zone. It's in the red zone, which is not a good zone. But... Paper Mill requires 80 horsepower. It's pretty cheap to run. It has a very different footprint. I think we're going to build probably like two of them. That's the catch. If I built... Okay, let's build two. Build a path. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, actually it's quicker. It's, it's quicker and easier to take the path above that it is to take the drivetrain. Why are you sleeping on the floor? Live lives in Triple Lodge, and you just curled up right there. Yeah, you have a house. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we would need to bring that up, a platform, that down, not build that there. Uh, power train to there, and then paper here and here and then if I plug that in please tell me that's still within district range yes we're getting close to the edge but yes <clears throat> uh, actually you know what we're just going to join that into there that way I can see well that's not built so I can't really see but you know we're, we're, we're going to try our hardest uh, that has not overflowed yet but it's getting very close okay downstream we're still pumping okay so and you're still being built slowly all right so as i was saying um further upstream further upstream okay so i need to look at my water source so we have a water source here which fills up this section which as we can see drains out to this major river now if we look at the river very carefully we can see the water is sort of flowing this way and then turning around and flowing out so it actually exits the map to the left and has absolutely nothing on the right in the way of a water source. So if we turn on transparent water and we look for the little water rocks, there are none, not even the deepest parts of the map. There is uh, our fountain of youth that we're trying to get to, which has all the water in the world, but none of that feeds into this river. On top of that, uh, coming back from our original water source, we have this second offshoot, which uh, gets filled from this fountain, 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 fountain and waterfall up here. Um, there are no hidden water rocks anywhere in here, are there? No, no. Because this map's very, very unique. And this is why there is a link in the description for this map, because it has, like, underground fount uh, underground springs, which is a really cool concept and something I really wish the vanilla maps or the default maps sort of explored a little bit more. So I'm thinking if we can get a district over here somewhere, somewhere, and then get a dam across here, all of this can backflow, which is a lot of water. 
that is an amazing amount of water. Which this is all one level. Yes, I'm not getting any flooding. So that's a plan. That's a, that's a really good plan. I like this really good plan. But yeah, we need to set up a district when we're not coming into a drought. And normally, to set up a new district, you want a bit of an extra population. And at the moment, I'm at least two beavers short. Uh, and one lock short. Uh, you're planting... You're doing nothing. Exotic beaver, you've just been put into retirement. You've got to find a different job to do. Uh, actually, exotic beaver... No, you should be chopping that tree. You are chopping that tree. Busy beaver, it's... Where the hell's Busy Beaver work? Oh! There's one right beside it. Okay. Back to pausing that one. Yes. Uh, so Busy Beaver should get in there and chop that tree. I don't think we're ever going to plant... We'll, we'll set it up to plant a berry once it's chopped. Uh, but I don't think it'll ever happen. Um, but yeah, currently our population is not doing... Great. Neither is our water. Uh, did that overflow yet? No. Talk about... Talk about rising the water up to the, the edge. Uh, let's just drop you just a little bit and let some water out. Uh, let's not build that gatherer flag. Actually... So I'm thinking... I'm thinking, which is always dangerous. I'm thinking there's a good chance after we get this dam built, we might be putting another layer on top. But I haven't decided. Okay. Uh, we'll plant this anyway. At least it's planted. And then we can work out the specifics afterwards. Uh, you've dropped by half a tile at least. You're flowing. Oh my god, there's a lot of flow. Uh, let's take that back up to two tiles. Hello? Thank you. Alright. Problem is, I don't get any animation if, if water flows off the edge of the map. Like it's doing right now. This doesn't show that water's flowing off the edge of the map. Yeah. Okay, alright. So, whilst we have the Busy Beavers go through an autosave, I want to start planning out this. So, if I was... Uh, and we can plan without being anywhere having any access whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to go with here as an arbitrary spot. And we're going to go with a dam first because it's easier to build and just requires logs. Obviously, I might want floodgates, but that seems like a later JD problem entirely. Uh... Okay. And then... Do, 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 lay, lay, labor, storage, no, labor... Uh... Parts, parts, it's under parts, it's a new district center. So if I put a district center there, that's only light red. So that is a perfectly viable district center. We're not putting it there, but it, it, it's viable. Okay, so that would join into there. We look at this, you only stretch to here. So we could put a district gate in there, and then there, just so it's separated. District center here. That's a little bit too far down the red scale. Uh, okay, so we're going to aim to put one here. Maybe I want my original placement back. Alright. Whilst we think about this, let's hook a path into there. Yeah, we can path to there, no problem. Uh, obviously, because this is closer and easier to get to, I would definitely like to put a dam in right there, because that is one tile. That's a one tile dam. That's about as cheap as you get. Uh, yeah, path that through... Nope, there's a tree in the way. Uh, through here. Yes, okay. 
Um, that's technically outside the district. Okay, so now we know that we want to put a district center about here. I like how the district, the district number just keeps going up and up and up. Okay, so that's where we'd have to put the district. On top of that, we would have to get water pumps. Uh, we'd need probably two to start with, if not a whole lot more, uh, which would be plugged in there. We would want lumberjack flags, uh, obviously a few of them. We'd want food. We can go berry picking. Uh, we're going to have to get real food up and running like ASAP. Uh, no. We could build that down here. Yes. Um, so the plan would be, with the new district, uh, would be probably a few more lumberjack flags. The plan would be water, food, food, harvest, no, dam. Water, food, dam. So let's go through priorities. Uh, first off, downgrade everything. And you. Okay, so it would be water uh, and food. Dam. Then all of those guys. Uh, you're also food. And then big dam. So that's how we'd set up a new district. Now a new district, ideally, you're gonna ship materials across. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Drop, 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 drop. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, chop that down, raise it back up. Build that, build that, build that. Oh, okay. I was not paying attention at all. Alright, so this district, 11 unemployed. What? Oh, we have people grow up. Uh, okay, so 11 unemployed. If I unpause berry pickers, they can haul material. Uh, same with lumberjacks. Uh, if I accidentally press the wrong button, Discord makes sounds. That's way more important than anything else. Uh, berry picker in there. Uh, I didn't... I did. But nobody's come along and built it. Uh, can we max out the priority on you? Because you'll be an, uh, an employable person. At the same time, storage is not great. Uh, we're going to put in two storages. Now, storage, we're going to cover storage really quickly right now. Uh, storage. So, I have a small warehouse. Small warehouse holds 200 items and costs a whole bunch of 15 wood. A large warehouse holds five times as much. A thousand items. There is a catch. There is a small catch with that. It costs four times the amount of logs and costs 800 planks that's a massive amount of planks um yes so it's like six or seven times the cost uh that's a lot it's a little bit rich for my blood so we're not having one of those uh instead uh, you are maxed out you're 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 maxed out uh you're pumping yep yeah, we've got a bald beaver in there uh you have a whoa we got one left okay so if we get that done uh next highest priority would be that and those and then this and this okay so if we get Though that one tile done, we should be, and we can probably... Okay, Drought's about to start. We're going to raise that up to two tiles. Uh, no, it's in. It's in. We have a lock. We have a lock. It's only got about one and a half tiles worth of water in it, which is probably not quite enough. But, you know, it is what it is. We're unfortunately going to be pumping a lot of water during the drought, and I have exactly three idle beavers. Three idle beavers. Okay. 
We need to find jobs for our three idle be beavers. All right, so we're gonna have one, two, three idle beavers, four, five idle beavers, six beavers. Drought has started. 11 days. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. We, we, we'll survive. It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be perfect. Nothing will go wrong. All right. So, another thing I want to talk about doing is parving. All right. I want to unlock the triple platform. We're going to dump a triple platform in there. And we can house 114 beavers. Plus nine in there. So, that's 100 and... Oh, actually... Minus these two. So 114 plus 3 is 117. Seems odd. But sure, 117 beavers. Okay. I don't think the main district will ever get... Will ever be able to support more than 117 beavers. So... I'm going to assume that this is going to be our last level for our apartment block. I would like to put one, one more layer on it. But I just don't think I can afford the materials at the moment. So what we're going to do... Oh, the, the time. The time is probably more accurate. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, finish off this as the top layer. We're going to put in a rooftop terrace. I want one there. I want one there. I want one there. And I want one there. We already put in some shrubs. Some shrubs to make our beavers happy and make sure they had the a shrubbery bonus for a work speed of 5%. But there's another 5% if they get a roof. So we're also going to come into decorations. And the fences don't do anything. Okay. Uh, oh. So a beaver statue. Which I've played with because that's in both districts. Uh, both. Uh, both. Factions. Um, with the iron teeth, I'm pretty sure it costs metal. And here we have a scarecrow. Which gives us a beaver statue for another 5%. And it requires paper. I don't have paper. And that requires a lot of wood and planks. Alright, so we're going to do, before I get completely sidetracked, uh, we're going to unlock a roof. I'm going to put a roof here. And a roof here. And more importantly, we can see that when I put down the roof, all... Hang on, let's rotate it that way. Mm, let's not rotate it that way. Okay. When I put on a roof, all the houses are light up. So that is going to affect all the houses. Uh, we're going to assign a priority of... I don't know what priority we're up to. Uh, you, you're all done. So I guess we put that on max priority. Uh, uh, storage, yeah, storage is not full. Alright, and you just require, oh no, you grant, uh, logs and planks, actually you're relatively cheap. We're going to do that one and that one, and then we're going to just let them get to the rest of it in their due course. Because I'd really like to remove this rooftop terrace and the two houses, but we are using the rooftop terrace. Actually, no, we've got one child. Uh, we were using the rooftop terrace. The rooftop terrace gives us a fertility bonus for the adults and for the one child makes them level up faster. Uh, we don't care about level the child leveling up faster because there's only one of them. All right. So we're going to delete that. It's going to give us a little bit more room. Um, I'm trying to work out what I put in that room. In theory, food. But I really need, like... Okay, I need you to be set to zero. Uh, I need that water wheel to go away, because it's never going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. We're going to plant berries in that bit as well. You are set to plant anything, but the only thing you're going to ever reach is probably berries. Uh, you're already set to berries, and you're set to berries. Excellent. Uh, you are in theory trying to plant trees left, right, and center. Okay, so if we get... Oh god, they require gears as well. Crap. You also require gears. Okay. Okay, fine. Alright, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Nothing's going to go wrong. Everything's going to be peachy. 
Uh, we're going to have them harvest that because I assume they can reach it. Yep. And you too. Okay. All right. So whilst we're on the list of everything going wrong and I'm getting frustrated, we're going to go with also, I'm going to need a distribution post and a drop off. So a drop off is easy. I'm going to pop a drop off. I'm going to put a drop off here. And actually, they have paths in, so we can get down to here. Okay, we're also going to unlock a distribution post. That's the last time. Okay. Which is logs and planks. And I have no planks and no logs. Because as fast as... My windmills are shit. That's why I have nothing. Cool. Alright. And we just used a crap ton of planks getting those done. Uh, not to mention... You're a lower priority. Can I... Here are logs and planks as well. You're built. Okay, so anything that requires logs and planks and gears, we're basically screwed on. Alright, well, in that case, we're going to start jumping through time, because I've been shooting my mouth off non-stop, and see how far into this drought we get. Hopefully we get some paper up and running, because I dead set if I get paper and I make some beehives, it's probably going to solve our food problem. It won't solve our water problem, but probably our food problem, having 50% of our problem solved, is definitely an improvement. Uh, wood, I think, is just down to, they just need to chop it faster. Um, actually, sure. Um, yeah, they just need to chop it faster. They're just lazy, okay? That's what, all it comes down to. Uh, and food, yeah, food is going to be solved by beehives. That, or maybe reclaim this forest here. And turn that into more beef up hives. Actually speaking of that, three unemployed beavers. One, two, three. Found a job. Alright, that's it. Time to uh, jump through and see how far into this drought we make it. Ten days. Shit. So, we've made it just one day into the drought. One day into the drought, and I've intentionally let this area dry up. Uh, just so we can get in here and start planting in berries. Uh, we already... You know, this has still got water in it. We do have one tank done, and the other tanks are... Well, mostly full. I've put in another tank with bottom priority. We do not want this built because I really want paper, which is at 13 of 15 gears. So it's just a matter of getting the gears done. Uh, again, like there, there are lots of things that need planks and planks need to go into gears and we're, we're not having a good time when it comes to gears. But if we can get that done, that would definitely help. Uh, it seems the extra three forests and just time has helped. Uh, we have plenty of timber now. In fact, I have enough timber. I'm actually going to go storage log pile right now. We're going to put it on that side. Yes. I'm hoping. Oh, you're getting planks. Ah, oh, planks going towards building tasks. Oh no, you have planks. Eight. Okay, you, you both got planks to, to, to convert to gears. Okay, hope you put your log pile there will help. Uh, but at the moment, I have a bunch of idle beavers. Idle beavers are bad. Uh, yeah, we're, okay, we know you don't have any workers. We, we didn't get that building done in time. So, a uh, bunch of idle workers means I think it's time to look at this levy. Uh, so, if I put two levies in here, and I'm definitely going to max out the priority on those, I'm really hoping... Oh, actually, I might need to put that path back uh, I'm trying to think how to do this I wouldn't go out through more tiles that's the plan put another lock right behind this one and I was thinking, do I have to? And no, I don't. I can just let it flow over here onto this, and then it will splash out onto the thing. Okay, so hopefully we can get too far. To, uh, the, uh, the top ones don't say they're too far. So hopefully we can get some beavers in here to build these levees. 
Uh, I, well, we've got paper. We've got paper. I need paper. Uh, you pause. Also pause, Slippery Beaver? Come on, Slippery. No. Uh, Woody... I don't really need you anymore. Woody Beaver, you've been retired. Uh, Woody... No. I don't even know what they're doing. Uh, the water's starting to get desperate. Dried out and died. Oh. Oh, because they're potatoes. Okay, fine. Uh, plant crops. Carrots. All of those carrots. And plant you as carrots as well. And remove resources. I want you ripped up and you ripped up and you ripped up. I'm going to play, replace them with a uh, potato. Yeah, potato. Uh, we're going to cancel putting carrots there. No, 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 no. Pause. Uh, drop that deal. What? Oh, God. Okay, drop that down even further. All right. Uh, oh. Okay, you're running. All right, so we need to add a route. I thought things were flooding. Uh, okay, uh, add a route to here. We need to ship over everything. All right, so logs. Logs, because I have logs currently. Uh, we're not going to ship over paper, wood. Uh, no, planks. We're not going to ship over planks. We're not going to ship over water. I think till the drought ends. But at least we can ship over logs, which should give this district enough logs they can get everything built. You know, dry out in 6.6 .6 days. Oh, those blueberries are not going to exist by the time we get there. Yeah, because the drought goes for 7, 8, 8 days. Awesome. Awesome. So the map forces you, if you don't expand quick enough, uh, to be screwed over. Okie dokie. Alright, so that's reflooding. We're going to raise that back up. Because the less surface area I have for the water, the less it evaporates. So hopefully that's enough just to fill this and not flow off the map. I sort of want these to be... I sort of want these to be changed over and turned into um, floodgates. Now I come to think of it. Uh, potato, potato. Yeah, they're getting swapped over with carrots. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we wanted to put in potato there. That, that, and that are all going to end up turning into water tanks eventually. Uh... Okay, and of course there's no wind. Because I need paper. Which is straight from logs, which is an easy one to do. And we're going to unpause you because you just need gears. Not that we have any gears. We had two gears. Okay. Alright, so we need to jump through time a little bit further. See if we're going to survive this drought or not. Uh, the fact that it's 7.6 days and already yeah, things are not looking great. And I think the only way I'm going to get in there... I think the only way I'm going to get in there is if I throw pie in there. No unemployed beavers. Really? That's one I sort of want. Turn off rough. Slippery beaver. Excellent. Uh, do I have an unemployed now? Okay, I do. Alright. The only way I'm going to get in there, I think, is if I build some scaffolding. Which is unfortunate. I try to avoid scaffolding. Uh, but that looks fairly cheap. And we're going to want another levy there. Uh, after they get this built, we can put... That means that damn tile will never work. It 
it means I don't actually need that whole row. Yep, we're just going to damn it up, uh, levy it up. Alright, so we're going to, uh, yeah, hopefully get another row, and I think that's going to have to be our answer. We're just going to have to go up, because 7.4 days, this was like half full, and I don't think it's long enough to get us through a whole drought. So it's dawned on me, I might have a small little problem, because if I put, if we come in here, and I put a floodgate up here, and we fill this up to four tiles high, the only way... So if I fill this to four tiles high, I can then drop that floodgate and let the water out. That's fine. That's fine. But I can't get the water low, the, 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 the water below three tiles to let it flow back out the river. So whilst the giant construction team's on its way, that's not going to work. And I don't have a better idea of how the hell to make this thing work. The only thing I can think of is we basically do all our water pumping in here. And then basically irrigate all the land that we were planning on using. And that's how we're going to have to get around the fact that everything's going to dry up. Which means I need a whole bunch of water dumping stations. And then I can stack this as high as I want. Like, I, I can add another six tiles on here and we can just let this fill up with water forever. Which is, in hard mode, probably a very good solution. But, it means I have to have dedicated dumping stations. And I need to have a, de a dumping station every, like, 14 tiles. So, like, one here and... Well, probably actually... Uh, no, you'll be full of water. So, probably one here. One here. One here-ish. One, actually, that's not too bad. Four dumping stations for water. But I could pause and unpause and micromanage. Which is a pain to do, honestly, and I can't be bothered. Um, okay, alright. So now we've worked out that malarkey. Uh, if I... You can harvest most of that. You can harvest some of that. Okay, if I remove you, let's just remove you. Let's remove that. Let's use that as a stepping platform. Uh, two, three. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, okay, we want to demolish. Delete buildings. Just the rails. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Okay. So after... Hang on. And levies. Because we might as well start building. We have timber. Okay. And then... I need a three and a one. And a stair, and then a three, and a three, with a three, with a two, with a stair, with a stair, uh, levies. One, two, levy. That's three tiles up. Uh, that's four tiles up. Yeah. That's five. And one more. Okay, so back in the paths, we go a three with a three with a one and a stair. Then a three and a three and a two. And back in here, we want levies. All of that would have to be levies. Cool. Good luck building team. And I'm so going to bridge across that. Uh, two by one. Yeah, that seems cheap. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be the giant ass plan. In the meantime, we do have... Oh, actually, we've got 30 paper. Wow, 30 paper. Uh, beehive unlockers. Yes. Okay. So beehives are amazing. Alright, they are 
the best thing ever. In a so from the beehive itself, it's uh, three tiles in all directions. They increase the growth speed of said plants. Uh, three by three by three. Okay, so there, there. And what we, what 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 makes them so awesome is why is that not planted? Okay, down what's up? Actually, let's let's try and work on something that's going to be perfect. One, two, three. One, two. Nope. Three. All right. What makes them so awesome is yes, uh, they double the growth speed of plants. Well, food, which is amazing. It means you can have half as much farming, half as much farming for the same for for uh, food for your beavers. Which uh, is going to make us one hell of a difference. So one, two, three, one, two, three. There. Yes. Uh, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Ideally, there. Would I like to move the path over by a tile? You bet. Am I going to? No. Uh, am I going to move the farmhouse? Oh, that's another thing. We're going to need more farmhouses. Okay. So let's just start with uh, putting in one beehive, two beehive. Uh, we are so going to max out the priority on those. Uh, I'm also going to have to cancel. Uh, okay, so I'm going to want one um, one farmhouse. That's the words I'm looking for. One farmhouse here. Potentially a second, potentially a third. It is in fertile area. I'd like to move them further away. It's probably not going to happen. Uh, actually, I could put one here. Here. Okay. Uh, berry planter has done more about all the planting you're going to get done. Uh, can we ask you to plant there, please? You can pick all that's been planted. Excellent. Uh, we're not out of water yet. You are still making gear slowly. Yes, we did get paper up and running. Uh, we literally just need to wait for the drought to end, which is still five days away. And I've got a tile and a bit of water. Awesome! All right. Uh, you are going to have a plank shortage because I just spent all the planks. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're future-proofing ourselves. It's fine. All right. Uh, let's see how far into this drought we actually get. Okay. So we have our beehive. It's it's about to finish, and this is going to be amazing. So we have our oh, growth progress thirty two percent, thirty two percent, thirty two percent. Actually, you're about to be harvested. Uh, and you are definitely in the good zone. So this particular tile here, and, and and the one beside it, which is also in the zone, uh, just planted growth progress zero percent. His mate beside him, forty seven percent. What's going to happen is carrots. It's Three days, three days, three days, three days, four days. Uh, four days, three carrots, yes. Okay. So in two days, this guy's going to be done. In two days, this guy, guy's going to be done. Uh, we've got a second one up and running. Uh, oh, I just marked it to unharvest. Uh, okay, food. Let's throw another beehive in there. I am still having massive water problems. Oh, I let some out, but not enough. Oh, crap. I think everything over here is going to die. I'm also thinking... We're going to have dead beavers. Okay, let's set that to normal. And let's set the giant levy wall to ignore the problem. That way there's less beavers deciding to get stuck. Because we, we have had a sacrifice or two. I'm thinking, if we're going to have water here, we should probably put food along the edges. And that way, hopefully, I don't have to have... Um, 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 I don't have to have uh, water dumps. And then we can move all the timber over to this edge. But then again, after this district's finished building this giant project... We probably don't need a lot of timber. 
we could probably semi-retire this district and just have them take what timber they have and just turn it into stuff. Stuff. Uh, and then ship that stuff to other districts. Uh, but I have noticed we've used all the timber in a hurry, just building a handful of levies. Anyway, alright, so we have four and a half days left on this drought. We're going to have to... No, actually, food and water's probably fine. Do I drop the water? How much do you have in there? A tile and a bit. Okay, let's drop the water level down to... That's not flowing at all. Okay, uh, we're going to leave the, the, the thing right there and we're going to have to... We'll just see how far we get, because we've still got four, 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 four days. Yeah, we've got a while. Alright, uh, but we have our beehives up and running and... Where were we? We were that one, that, that one. What was those two? 11%, 21%, 27, 72. I forget which two it was. It's those two. First that one. Yeah. Alright, let's skip forward two days. That way we can see our, our, our beehives in action. Well, it happened again. It definitely happened again. Another beaver in the infinite wisdom decide to come sit up here on the levee you know had, had, had that final view uh actually we can unpause you finally and you can go pick some berries okay uh so we have 2.7 days left on the drought and i think that one 99 percent, 99 percent. uh which means this one and this one were the two that i had planted which aren't quite double the harvesting rate or the growing rate uh, but I think that's purely down to we've had a few dry outs around here. Um, yeah, so I do think the master plan will be along here is where we're going to put all our food. And we're just going to levy up this whole section. It does mean that, yes, I need to uh, get this giant levy wall built, which is going to take some time. And don't get me wrong, it's going to take some significant time. I'm also going to have to potentially, if we want to harvest the, the, the berries on the inside, I'm probably going to have to get some sort of path in so the beavers can get in and harvest things. I don't know how we're going to do that. That sounds like it later. Actually, probably right down the riverbank because those tiles are not being used currently. Yeah, probably right down the river bank. Uh, that's sad when you're literally right beside the water source and you're going to dry out. Okay, um, yeah, so I need to build a path down as well, which is a later jetty problem. At the same time, I will have to build in a whole bunch of water pumps because this is going to have to be where we get our water from. So we're probably going to end up, this side of it's all going to become infrastructure to getting water, pumping water, storing water, all that sort of fun stuff. And then we'll use whatever land, whatever area we have left for actually grabbing water. Um, yeah, but it also means that, yeah, we're, we're going to lose some more beavers and we're going to go through a whole bunch of timber. But I'm pretty sure I can skip forward to the end of the drought. So let's attempt to do that and have all the beavers survive. We have 500 water. We have 200 food. Um, it's just a matter of how much I have to micromanage the floodgates so things don't dry out permanently. 1.2 days. 0.5 days. Okay. I need to micromanage a little bit more. Okay, we're down to 1.9 days left and it's time to open up uh, the floodgates all the way to let out whatever's left because uh yeah we have a drying out problem uh, on top of that uh we have pumped up a lot of the water in fact you know we've pumped up most of the water and i'm gonna keep adding tanks forever on top of that i got jack of it i got jack of micromanaging the ups and downs so we are going to come in here we're gonna get a water dump we're gonna say yes i'm gonna jam that right there and max out the priority on this because this will just solve my problem I'm just going to have a tile full of water right here that'll make sure uh, two, no, hang on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, which means that this whole area should be perfectly suited for me making potatoes forever. 
because it will never ever ever dry up again uh, and that's the whole point of well maybe not that tile there in the middle uh, but that's the whole point of this water dump where it's just gonna solve the micromanagement problem uh, actually plant crop potatoes there and there uh, and food beehive yes yes it's so much easier to do when all the crops are dried up yeah that's decent coverage I can't knock that uh, so if I have a water dump here this should stay lush all the time this should all stay mostly lush all the time we should be good but it does mean at one point whatever 1.7 1 1.1 1 1 1 1. yeah in a couple of days we should be fine there's even a chance it's a slim chance but it's a chance because these are set to zero like all the water should flow out it's not flowing anywhere currently which sucks a little bit uh oh no actually it looks like it's flowed to level okay maybe we can suck this dry and actually get some oh actually we could probably unpause you yeah you could probably grab some berries and you and pause you who else actually we could pause that one Hopefully that fixes my berry problem. Oh, Be Beaver stranded. Yeah, about that. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's just just another one, another one. Um. Anyway, we are production wise, we're doing okay. I do want to actually. It's one other thing I want to do. I do want to unlock metal. Okay, so we're gonna put in a scavenger flag, and I'm gonna dig up this metal. I don't know how much is here. 30, 90, 90, 100, so that's 180, 270, uh, that makes 300, 330, 330, uh, 360, so 360 metal, if I run it through, I need 30 in there to start with, so it gives me 330, and then it's two scrap for one metal, so I have like 150, 60, 70, 100, 170 metal to play with and there's going to be a few things we're going to have to do with that uh, but now you're running you're going to fill up that tile full of water and magically it doesn't overflow because beavers are smart and they don't overflow it which means this is going to stay green forever which means I don't have to worry about it anymore and that has completely dried up and how much planning did you get done? one top Yeah, so worth the investment. Totally worth the investment. Okay, all right. 1.4 days, the drought's done. Let's just uh, confirm that we made it through the drought. All right, the drought has ended. The drought has ended. We have survived. Well, most of the beavers did. You know, there were there were some smart ones. Smart ones that went and got themselves stranded. But like the rest of them survived. Uh, we're going to have to... Hello, water. There we go. Uh, that is the worst water flow ever. We're going to have to uh, at least let that pre-fill all the way to the end. And then we're going to have to like shut levees and things and get things moving again. In the meantime, uh, now that the beavers have built to the top, they can reach down an infinite amount of tiles. So they should be able to just build all this quite easily. Uh, coming around to the back wall and everything else will be a later JD problem. 100% we'll work out that later. Uh, building around this is also going to fall under a later jetty problem. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get just one wall done. But I'm going to leave this episode here. Next episode, definitely brand new district. Brand new district. Uh, I do want a homeless one. Well, that's a good start. Cool. We're going to turn on the extra house. I, I still want some extra, extra houses now. No, we can probably turn off some hauling posts. Yes. I can probably manipulate the population here to get a, 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 enough extras that I can ship them over to a brand new district. Because uh, we... Oh, 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 oh. Add new route there. We want to start shipping over water. And you know what? We're also going to ship over... Hmm. They're free. They're free to build. Uh, labor drop-off point right there. We're going to ship over to that one. Carrots. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start shipping over some stuff. Some stuff and things. Uh, at the same time, you're done, actually. You can go away. 
uh, lubricated beaver can go find a different job. Uh, we can throw some carrots in there. We have now we have beef hives up and running. We, we are doing all right. I'd love explosives because um, explosives are going to give us lots of options. But to get explosives, I need an explosive factory, which requires metal, which requires us to get a shredder, which we haven't done yet. Uh, but we started collecting metal at least so slippery beaver is going to be flat out collecting metal uh until that says 360 but it's it's it's, it's going to be a while it's going to be a while but we did get the beavers upgraded to having a why do you not have a roof bonus why nobody has a roof bonus what the roof's literally right there okay Prove me wrong, beavers, time and time again. Alright, in theory we can have roof bonuses at the same time next episode. We can probably uh, get some scarecrows. Scarecrows, scarecrow bonuses. And I think the answer for those is definitely put them around the back of the building. Uh, same as we did with the shrubs. Uh, but there are things we're going to be covering and tackling in the next episode. I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Timberborn, where um, we strike out for New Colony and hope that all the beavers make it. Hope. Pray. Both. All right, that's it. We're out. Bye.